Hi, I'm Greg from RVH Lifestyles, and I'm here today at the New Horizons factory with Mr. Cole Brokenicki. We've got a really impressive, very modern, wicked looking fifth wheel that we want to show you today. Cole's going to be our host, taking us around this very modern interior, very modern exterior, 48 foot fifth wheel. Here we go. Take us away. All take right. it away, Cole. All right, let's take a peek at this. New trailer we're building right now. It's a 48 foot majestic, four slides, uh, custom layout. It's all living space inside. So as, as you'll see in a little bit, the interior is just a mansion on wheels. Um, the first thing you might notice, this is a custom paint job we've done for our owners, Chris and Tracy, Volvo Red, or the Viper Red on the Volvo truck, excuse me. Um, it's color matched to Chris's Volvo VNR he's got on order. It's very modern. Um, heck, the thing just looks fast, even though it's just standing here. So uh, pretty excited about that and the head turn that's going to happen with it. I want to show you some cool stuff on the interior that we're doing. The storage behind here, we've, uh, we've modified where we've got enough space we can do mountain bikes from the front. We'll see in just a couple minutes. We've built a, a cavity that's large enough that the owners will be able to fit their kayaks in this area, uh, which is kind of exciting. It was high on their list of must-haves for the storage. But as always, heated, insulated, everything that you want to keep protected in your underbelly storage, just like inside the trailer, uh, standard on every New Horizons we build. We've got the Truma on-demand water heater here. Uh, we use the AquaGo. Very popular option right now. Our utility center that we've updated recently, got the water manifold system, black gray tank flush outs, the gate valves, everything you need to get to is right in this system. We've got two points in the unit to check your tank levels. We've got the exterior as you're out here by the utility center and this also ties into our uh, Firefly system. So you can check your fresh water, gray, black, etc. cetera. Um, cable access, all the things that you need to get to, we build into these, this utility center, which is fully heated. We have a two inch duct running specifically to this area, so it is fine in the, in the freezing temperatures. As we do on all of our Majestics, larger than 36 feet, this unit features two dual stage furnaces. Uh, their zone, bedroom and bathroom area, and then the living space. And each zone also dumps hot air into our underbelly. Uh, we actually give you a negative 10 degree guarantee against freeze ups in our coaches. Uh, the only stipulation, of course, is you got propane to, to heat the trailer, because uh, that's going to get it into your underbelly storage area. Uh, moving back, notice we've got a triple axle set up down here. These are Moride. 9K axles. It is our, the Moride IS suspension, which is standard on all of our Majestic coaches that we build. This features disc brakes. Also features a uh, just a standard pack bearing. If I can get you to look at this angle back here, we have installed a 8K diesel generator for our customer on this unit. The fuel fill is right here, going to a 30 gallon tank. And then I'll let you peek down there. We still have it located in our unique area that it's behind the axles. Gives you more storage up front, reduces pin weight, still easy to get to as you can see just hop under the frame rails you get full access to maintenance on it. You know, fuel filters, oil filters, uh, anything like that that you need to get to. So we can also do generators, uh, you know, propane fired is typical. Also gasoline, if you want the, if you want the best, the diesel is the way to go because it's the most efficient and can run for hours on end. So let's see, let's go up front and take a peek at that storage area I told you about. Now before we hop into the storage area again, I do want to point out one of the options we have is a color matched rock guard. This is actually a bed liner material that our company, CDI, who paints for us, they actually color tint this to match the rest of the body. So this is a 
a spray-on bed liner take the abuse much better than just paint and fiberglass. Uh, very popular on our rigs. Of course, if the unit's going to sit and never move, it's kind of pointless to spend the money on. But if you're heading down the road, it's worth every penny to have on board. So uh, I was telling you about the kayak storage. We've got a little more to do to, to cover up the ducts, get the wiring, of course, wrapped up. Uh, they're still, still in process. But they'll be able to take their kayaks all the way in and stack them. And then we're going to build them a little bracket to hang them so that they'll be supported from the ceiling of the basement storage area. So a very unique customization to get that extra storage up front. Also notice the big French doors in the front instead of our typical setup where we've got the smaller door combo. So this, this is going to allow them to get the things with them on the road without having to crawl on the roof or put something together on their truck to take, I believe it's a 12 and a 13 foot long kayak that they're traveling with. All right, so the, the space that the kayaks are gonna fit into goes way up there. That opening will be covered up by the steps going up to the bedroom, but they're gonna have space all the way up uh, to fit their kayaks and anything else they wanna store in that area. So some major modifications happened to, to make that work for them, but it was high on the customer's list, so we got it done. So that storage area is also accessed from the outside of the trailer. So to tie their kayaks down, or just put tool chest, anything else. Uh, we've had all this space in here, didn't want it to go to waste, so put in a, a, an additional baggage door on the unit. All right, as, uh, as you walk in this trailer, one of the very first things you notice is bank of uh, cooking appliances right here. We've got KitchenAid microwave, KitchenAid oven. These are both all electric. Gonna have a huge drawer down here for storage. And again, just some bonus storage up above. And then the second thing your eyes immediately go to is this huge, massive island. All sorts of counter space. You notice it's got the uh, reclaimed barn board which is really popular right now. It kind of makes this modern rustic combination, um, but just very residential with the things that we put in here that the customers wanted. Got the pull down sink that comes apart. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with this, that just modern, neat look to it. Uh, even have a garbage disposal on this sink. That's what this little button's for. So um, behind me, the oven will be, it's a cooktop. It's basically a commercial cooktop that they have us put in. Uh, got the KitchenAid range, or the fan vent cover. It, this vents to the outside. The stuff you see in residential high-end homes, these customers wanted us to put in, so we are. Um, again, every kitchen needs a lot of storage under the cooktop, to the side, pull out spice racks, Cookie sheet storage, I mean, it, this thing is uh, not lacking for storage, that is for sure. Got a very modern looking backsplash, got the glass subway tile. Um, it's really coming together nicely in here. Uh, moving out of the kitchen, one of my favorite things that we're putting in for the Garlings is a 65 inch 4K TV. Uh, mounted to this back wall tying together the barn wood just like on the on the island this TV will be mounted here and just it'll be a little miniature movie theater underneath that TV might be my second most favorite thing I'm a TV guy so I'm kind of excited about that one but this this big opening right here this is where a 74 inch dimplex LED lit fireplace is being installed a uh, little app you can download to go with it you can change between a dozen different colors, control the heat, control all the things about it just through a little smartphone app. So uh, this, will be, this will be another kind of showpiece of this living space is the, is the fireplace. And we just built in some nooks for speakers and uh, you know, DVD players, Blu-ray players, satellite boxes, things like that into this space. So uh, the back of the trailer uh, this is very different than 
our standard majestic footprint, if you will. Uh, the customer opted to have us not install the rear cap, which gives us a kind of a bay window look on the rear of our trailer. Uh, to maximize his length, he just had us build a straight wall and put a huge 48 by 48 window in the rear here. Um, so it kind of gave him a little more space to work with in the trailer. Uh, we're gonna have a single recliner here, dog bed for their huge Great Dane in this corner. Um, you know, part of the lifestyle, you don't give up your pets when you hit the road. So uh, a lot of people are always thinking about where can they be comfortable, um, where do I put them? So left space on the floor for a large dark dog bed. Then over here, our customers have on order a custom uh, power reclining, uh, basically it's a, it's a huge theater seat. And the color that we'll show you is gonna be pretty cool. It's a burnt orange that's gonna tie in with this dark cabinetry and the barn board just, just really, it's gonna be cool. So make sure to show you that one uh, here real quick. The rest of the space, um, as you may notice, this is the edge of the slide room stepping up. The slide room's not all the way out right now, so the uh, step up's a little bit taller than normal. But we actually have our hardwood floor going into the slide room. So this matches our, uh, our Shaw flooring that we have in the, rest of the, in the rest of the coach out in the slide room as well. So you don't, you don't have to have carpet in these units. Um, this is a little desk for Chris to sit down, do some work at. Got the keyboard tray, can get his Mac sitting up on the countertop and then just bonus storage, just random stuff um, on display. You, know, you can never have too much storage in these units. Uh, this corner, this is where their pantry is for their kitchen. So we've got adjustable drawers up top. Then down below, uh, you know, their dogs being a Great Dane and then also I believe a Yellow Lab, they go through a lot of food. So they had me just leave a big open spot to put big, you know, 25, 30, 50 pound bags of dog food in the bottom. So just little little touches for the customization. Then uh, here towards the end of the video, we'll see some completed photos. This is where the fridge is gonna be sitting. It's a KitchenAid stainless steel. I believe it's a 25 cubic foot fridge that's going into this space. And again, just more storage above. We'll be heading up the steps soon, but before we go there, one of the things that's really important in design features, as you walk in and out of your home, you need a place to put coats. So this has an actual entry closet to hang coats, enough height to put brooms, things like that in. Um, and this has uh, some nice depth. They can plug in a Dyson vacuum if they want. Uh, and then above the coat closet, we always have our, our control center. So uh, monitoring your tank levels, if you do a satellite dish, all those things go into this space above the entry closet. Then above is just more storage. Always need more storage. So next, let's take a peek up into the bathroom and see what we've got going on up here. So follow me on up, watch your step. All right, as you first come up the steps to the bathroom area, immediately to your left, uh, this is the, the start of our shower. We use a shower called the Onyx Collection. Requires the uh, cement hardy backer, just like in a home. Um, the base is already in, and you can see the, uh, to contrast with the dark and all that, they want to just, just white. So you, you can have your choice of colors on these showers that we, that we install in the Majestic. So this will be a big glass swinging door, shower head here at the very top, so it'll actually hit you in the face instead of your chest, and then uh, optional skylight right here in the middle for some uh, added, added height for our taller folks. But, um, on the other side of this hall, floor to ceiling, end of lunch, <laughs> floor to ceiling, uh, shelving. These are adjustable shelves, just a great linen closet, great space to put things in. Then on up the way, you guys, we've got the, uh, the vanity here, we've got the square style Kohler sink. We come up with ingenious ways to keep things protected, boxes. <laughs> but we do, we do want to make sure we give you your, your end product without a bunch of wear and tear already as we're building it. So doing things like that's important. We we're going to have three mirrors on, on this upper medicine cabinet. So the whole thing is mirrored. 
So as you're standing, getting ready for the day, you don't have to fight over who gets to be in front of the sink. So again, we carried the backsplash through up into the uh, bathroom as well. Um, around this corner is the enlarged toilet room. Most rigs don't have this much space dedicated to the toilet, but it will never feel confining in here. We do have a, a large window that's going to go in for some natural light. Of course, the max fan up above the toilet to, um, how do I say delicately, pull the stinky air out of the room. <laughs> uh, we also have a custom mirror, little shelf to put cell phones, charger, things like that in there. So can uh, double up the space. And there'll be pocket doors to close that, not swinging doors on this design. Then on into the bedroom. Got a king bed with large end tables next to the bed. So there's plenty of room to walk around in this bedroom. Overhead cabinetry for extra storage. Uh, gonna have a custom padded headboard uh, installed on the wall here. We've got a double hanging closet. Uh, went ahead and got rid of our standard shelf that goes at the top and we've got two places to hang stuff. So residential size washer and dryer. This is bigger than our normal offering of the apartment size, um, just more cubic footage. And in this area, Tracy is so excited about not having to give up all of her shoes. She's envisioning all of her pairs of shoes stuffed into this area and she's going to be a happy camper not having to give up all of her shoes. So at the foot of the bed, we do have our uh, optional vanity slide, get all the cabinetry out in the slide room. Um, Chris and Tracy have opted to do like a 42 inch TV just sitting on the countertop. Um, you know, getting that on a flip down or anything like that, it's too big and they didn't want a 32 inch TV, they wanted bigger. So TV here, sound bar up above and that's basically what they're gonna do in, in the bedroom. So um, bank of drawers down below. And again, notice we've done the hardwood throughout the entire entire trailer. So. Yeah, the next time you see in here will be totally finished and uh, really excited to help our customers get moved in, so. All right, I wanna thank Greg from RVH Lifestyles for taking the time to come and tour this beautiful new trailer we're building for Chris and Tracy. Um, I also invite you to take a peek at some more of our videos featuring New Horizons RV. Uh, love to show you what all we can do for you. Thanks again.